Kevin, get your ass in here. What's up, Francine? Oh, hey, a new shipment of interns is here. Just in time for poker night. Really? I hadn't noticed. Now get these damn things out of here, please. What's with the wall of interns? The mailman just started building this around me. That looks surprisingly stable for, you know, being built of interns. Hello in there. Are any of you particularly meaty? The programmers love the meaty ones. Oh no, not this again. You can't just feed interns to the engineers whenever you need something. Uh, that's how it's always been done. It's called the circle of life. It is not! Francine, back us up here. I don't care what you do with office supplies. They're not office supplies. They're people. Look, if you want me to stay on as your new animator, then no more sacrificing interns. We can't just do nothing with the crates. After a couple weeks, they start smelling. Well, I don't know. Return them to the sender. Hey, you in there. Me? Yeah, you. What school are you from? Center of the Institute to the uh, Academy of the Higher University of Games? You don't know what school you're from? It keeps rebranding. Just check the return label. Center of the Institute to the Academy of Higher University of Games. Huh. He wasn't kidding. Hey, they're here in town. Great. Let's just go there, give them these crates back, and tell them we don't need any more interns. Knock yourself out. I've got better things to do. Fine. Okay, well, we can't carry all these crates ourselves. Let's recruit some of the others. And then, we're going back to school. I only have time to talk about purely hypothetical philosophical design questions. This is the chainsaw juggler. He doesn't juggle the chainsaws. Common mistake. He juggles his enemies with his chainsaw hands. Hi, Viper. We need you to come with us to bring back all these crates. I don't do errands. Uh, it's not an errand. We were hoping you could help us, you know, convince them whoa whoa you mean like you need some muscle my snot kicking radar just dinged your what my snot kicking radar detects the likelihood of snot kickery happening if there's going to be any snot kicking i need to be the kicker okay hey combat scenarios are all yours big guy i'll go get my crowbar this map sure is handy Welcome back to the Dice Bag, listeners. Let's get right back to the gossip on the latest film, comic, game, and culture news. Right, so back to the racer chase talk. I'm telling you, you can't blame them for trying new things, especially given how the old racer chase trilogy ended. Hard to go anywhere after that. I mean, I guess they do have to distance themselves from that crap. Right, I mean, it was the 90s. That was before they knew how to make good movies. Uh, excuse me? I'm just saying, they had to do all these weird tricks with glass and fog and get the effects right, and everyone wore spandex. And for some reason, every movie kept starring that guy with the chin. What in the hell are you talking about? Everyone has a chin. Doesn't matter. Point is, now they can do it right. They have the tech to pull it off. There's a bigger fan base, and they have the nostalgia factor going on. They can really make something the fans will love. Yeah, well, I'm a Racer Chase fan, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be awful. Timothy, do you want to come with us to return these pet crates? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Their new employee. How's your first week going? Don't tell me. I actually don't have time to listen. I've got to get in the right mindset for signing things. Uh... That means you leave my office now, new employee. When I'm signing things, I get really in the zone. It's like I don't even know you're there. Okay, I actually do know you're there. Go away. Don't touch that. That's my secret cabinet. I can't believe they were putting interns down this thing. Could this meter actually predict how well our game will do? Yep, this is the meeting room. I should focus on recruiting some of the others. Joan, could you help us bring all these interns back to the center of the Institute to the Academy of Higher University of Games? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still banned from that campus. Uh, oh. Too bad.
looks a little hazy out there today. come with us on a field trip? God damn it! I'm recording! Stop it! Okay, I guess not. One of these days I'll actually meet her, I guess. This fight begins now! Oh, I love this cereal as a kid. You up for a field trip? Uh, sure. I have to wait for my lighting to finish baking anyway, so... Excellent! I had no idea there was a game design school this close. So, I couldn't find my crowbar, but I brought my bat. You can't bring that on a college campus. It's an essential piece of sporting equipment, okay? Dude. It's covered in nails and says Bloody Mary on it. Seriously? Bloody Mary is a character from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. You watch your mouth when you talk about her. I really don't think we'll need that, Viper. You're scary enough without it. Yeah, I am. I can turn anything in my environment into a weapon. See this seatbelt? I could make you choke on it if I wanted to. Um, why do we bring him again? No one is going to choke anyone. We're just going to show up Hand them these interns and leave. There won't be any violence. They always say that. Where did half my team go? They went out to some college to go return some interns. We have interns? Not anymore. Well, whatever. Francine, I need you to hold all my calls for the next half hour. I'm signing things, and I need to get into the zone. You don't get any calls? I need focus. Hold my emails, too. I guess I could unplug the router. Right. Absolute focus. That's how you get stuff done. Looks pleasant enough. Don't see too many students, though. Man, it's a video game college. You expect anyone to be outside? Fair point. All right. There's probably some kind of business relations clerk or something. Oh, there's a tour. Let's ask the guide. We come now to our newly refurbished Provost West building, named after yours truly, in honor of my record-breaking dedication to our shareholders and students. Do you actually make video games here? Don't be ridiculous. That's unhygienic. But you train them for real game development, right? Because what little Robbie wants, little Robbie gets. We adhere to strict principles of higher instruction, including a rigid curriculum of theory. The more rote task of learning which buttons to push is delegated to our robust internship program. So many big words. Impressive. 
Wait, you're saying you don't even train the students? Our instruction is of the highest quality among schools with a similar accreditation rating. Oh God, is this a for-profit school? Your questions are making me uncomfortable, so I'm going to ignore you now. Wait, who are you all? You look old for prospective students. It's never too late to go back to school, okay? Not if you have good credit. Why do you have a robot? Oh, that's my automated recruitment assistant. He's not ex-military, and don't you dare imply that he is. He's a recruiting agent. Sweet missiles. Uh, studies show that there's a direct correlation between missiles and enrollment. Look, we're just here to return our interns. You keep sending them to us, and we don't want them. We're from a game dev studio across town. Uh, Midge doesn't want us to keep feeding them to the engineers. Engineers have to eat too, don't they? That's what I said! Are these game devs? Like, real game devs? You make Cool Border. My son wants to work on Cool Border. I thought you said you had 100% job placement among graduates. We do! We're creating a workforce for tomorrow. Our guaranteed internship program directly leads to job placement. We've never hired any of our interns. Oh, we do use them as poker chips sometimes, though, which is close. Recruitus Maximus, escort these hecklers off campus, would you? Affirmative will destroy. Eh, quick, scatter! Engage. Run! Maximus, I said set your missiles to sun! Not here. I think we're safe. Now, where the hell are we? <sighs> Lost. Where's everyone else? Weren't they behind you? I wasn't running, okay? I was chasing you. Man, I didn't say anything about that. Look, military-grade robots weren't part of the deal. You can't snot kick a robot. Man, let's just get out of here, all right? Yeah, whatever. Okay, this campus can't be that big. We went down the hill, then between those two dorms, then into here, Hey, intern, do you know where we are? I've never been to this part of the school. Hopefully the others will go back to the car. So, we find the car, wait for them, get the hell out of here. All right, so which way is the car? Could ask the old dude in there. Huh? What? Man. Whew, that thing was terrifying. Where are Ben and Viper? God, we will forever mourn their loss. Can we stop at Best Buy on the way home? Can't we just leave the interns in some corner and go, Midge? No, we need to make sure that we put them somewhere where they won't get ignored. Like the middle of a street. Like a classroom. Let's find an empty one and put them there. Then someone else will find them later. All right, well, let's find a classroom then. They probably spent more on this fountain than they do on their classrooms. Yeah, I'm not going back out there till that robot is gone. I guess the security officer normally sits here. Good thing they're not around. Don't they have any student work to show? Aw, oh, man. There's totally a bag of chips there about to fall. 
It's one of the saddest things you can find on a college campus. Doesn't seem like there's anything back there. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mermaid Sushi here, back with only the most killer tips, tutorials, and tricks for game dev. Just got a quick lesson today about how to activate the perspective viewpoint in the very real game editor today. Just a quick one, but first, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for updates. Okay, now before we get into it, I just want to say I couldn't have done this tutorial without the help of my boy, Squeezy Cheese 96 What up, dog? Check out his channel for more awesome game dev tips. Wonderful person, that Squeezy. Also, I just wanted to say, Ladrachio the Slayer, you're like super uncivil and don't know my mom at all, so stop saying those things. Okay, so now, let's get into this. So if you really want to activate the perspective camera in very real, I found this really hot trick. First, you just got to make sure your computer is plugged into an outlet. Use a grounded outlet. Never ever saw off the grounding pin and use a two prong. Trust me, okay? So you got to use a grounded outlet. Even if you have a laptop with only a two prong plug, always use a three prong outlet. It's just safer, you know? It's just good advice. Okay. The next step to activating the perspective mode in Very Real Game Editor is to turn on your computer. There's usually a little button on the side. It has a little snake eyeball icon over it because, I don't know, Illuminati much PC users? <laughs> anyway, once your computer is turned on, you gotta wait for it to... Anyway, so the next step to activating the Very Real Perspective viewpoint is to load up the Very Real Editor. This is done by finding the icon that looks like this. Okay, so now that we have the editor loaded, we need to find one button. It looks like this. All you have to do is click that button. Boom! Perspective view. Yeah! So, yeah, thanks again to my boy, Squeezy Cheese 96 yo boy, for showing me this. And I hope you all learn a thing or two. Be sure to do me a fav and smash the like and subscribe buttons. And join me again next week for more awesome game dev tips and tricks. Definitely not that room. a lamp or a student art project or both you're the one who wants to find a classroom i'm following your lead here midge and we're back again jt and rebel breeze here you're listening to the dice bag bringing you the latest news and gossip what were we talking about again breeze oh i don't know it wasn't important hey jay what did you study in school Oh, well, I was a communications major with a focus on broadcast media. <laughs> Fat lot of good that degree did for me. Look at me now. Jade, you are literally a radio personality on a talk show. Sounds like it was a good degree. I mean, maybe, but I wanted to, like, meet radio celebrities like Tom Jocelyn and stuff. I didn't learn anything at that school. Did you go to classes? <laughs> of course not. Why should I have to go to their classes? All I wanted was that stupid piece of paper. So you got what you wanted then. You got your piece of paper and you became a radio personality. Good job. Breeze, you're missing the point. I never got to meet Tom Jocelyn and he retired two years ago. So uh, thanks, college. You know, I eat cold pizza for breakfast sometimes, but not this pizza. That administrator again. She looks scarier in a cap and gown. Huh, strange. Who makes a marble bust of themselves these days? Hey kids, my name is Triangle. I'm a basic building block of 3D modeling. I'm a flat surface made by connecting three vertices in space. Ho ho ho! We call them verts for short. Oh, what's this? It's my friend Engon. Why so glum, Engon? I'm sad because no one wants me around. That's true. You introduce shading errors and add imprecision to modeling. No one really does want you around. What? That's not how you cheer up a friend. Don't worry. The GPU will automatically carve you up into little triangles anyway. Ah, it burns! It burns! Ah! Hooray! Now you're just like me. Remember, kids, sooner or later. Everything turns into triangles. Hooray! 
Hey! Definitely not that room. I love little nooks like these. I would have curled up here with a good comic. I'm pretty sure this plant isn't real. Do you think they still use books here? Or do they use PDF printouts stapled together? When analyzed with a proper academic eye, we see that this game is about so much more than just paddles and balls. Such a game is, in truth, a commentary on the environment in which it was made, a scathing critique of the oppressive nature of the Cold War, and a lament about government distrust. Is the human condition one in which we are perpetually juggling both offensive and defensive positions? Is the failure of our capitalistic framework resulting in a disaffected youth or is it vice versa? These are the questions directly asked by this game, and by all games. But what about Strategic Interstellar Genocide 3? That's my favorite game. Does that have a deeper meaning? That shit will rot your brain. Uh, maybe not that room. This is how you properly stack any building material. Offset them, see? Doesn't matter if you're using bricks, cinder blocks, Legos, or soup cans. Always offset. Learning proper construction techniques will take you far in life. Maybe not that room. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know when someone new will see your work. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know if someone new will see your work. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. The best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. I will spend more time networking than on my skills. Maybe not that room. Uh, is this seriously their curriculum? And then they send them off to us. Huh. Cool. How about that red door? That might be a good place to leave some interns. Whoa. What is this place? It's some kind of intern packing plant. I knew these schools were churning through students, but I had no idea it was this bad. Huh, there's a lot of people in here. Who are you all? Hey, dweebs! What are you doing locked up? Ben? Holy crap, Frank! Hey, Viper, I used to work with that guy. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. Frank, what the hell, man? How you been? What's with the chains, man? The what? Oh, right, the chains. Yeah, I decided to go into academia. This is pretty standard. Do you want me to, uh, you know... Get you down? Nah, it's cool. We get health and dental. They let us walk around an hour a day, too. It's cool. What? Really? Totally, man. Good benefits, free parking, zero chance of having to fix show-stopping bugs at four in the morning. This is the life. Except there's no snack time. Otherwise, yeah, solid gig. So you're a teacher? Yeah, except we're not allowed to influence the lessons. But we help their accreditation rating, so they keep us here. So you're a teacher who doesn't teach. I know, it's great. Hey, Ben, you should join us. He will be joining you. You! Provost West! 
This is a faculty-only room. You're not faculty, are you? Come over here, so I can kick the snot out of you. That's against campus regulations. I don't think you really are game developers. We sure are. We work for Shovelworks Studios. Now out of my way. I think you both need to cool off in here while I consider what to do with you. No! Ah, uh, probably shouldn't have told the way we work, dude. You know when they call some college a degree factory? I never thought they were being literal. Hey, come look at this. It looks like a test print for an ad or something. Compress four years of study into four days and prepare for your new career as a game designer. Huh. Wow, that sounds great. Where do I sign up? You are a game designer. What's this? Phase two proposal confidential memo. Where's the rest of it, though? Hey, help me find the other pieces for this. Sure. This is definitely more important than our personal safety. We're on it, Midge. Oh, wow, a real-life wooden crate. You don't find these out in the wild too much anymore. Gotcha. Okay, let's do this together, Pylon. You look for the missing pieces of paper. I'll delegate. There we go. Here's one. I wonder what's behind this big door. Why do places like this always have barrels hanging around? What do they even use them for? Are those slippers down there? Phase two proposal. Proposal for what? You can't hide from me, you inanimate object. Hello, New England. I'm Jade, and you're listening to The Dice Bag, your source for game, film, and culture news and talk. You hear there's a new sweaty blood game being made? They're up to 14. No, I didn't. Cause I don't play sweaty blood. I don't play violent games. <laughs> uh, you're missing out on some great games. The core is pretty cartoonish. I don't play any game where you shoot things. You know, that surprises me. I thought you played everything. What are you playing now? I am playing Cloud Simulator. You play as a righteous cumulus. It's wonderful. What do you do? Wander around and like water stuff or something? Oh no, you can't control your movement. You are subject to the wind's direction. But you can do rain and lightning and crap, right? Well, sure, but only if you happen to drift over a body of water and absorb more moisture than you can hold on to. And lightning only happens if you roll up against another cloud. <sighs> this sounds awful. It's delightful. No, you're awful. No, I'm delightful. Why? What do you do in Sweaty Blood 13? 14. The last one was 13. At the end of that one, Bloody Chuck has his hands replaced with drills. Society shunned him, so he wandered into the desert to join a pack of wild monks. In 14, you play as a star pupil trying to bring Chuck back to save the world one more, one last time. Yeah, I think I'll stick with my cloud game. You would. Good thing this yellow bar keeps me from going outside of this tightly confined but aesthetically pleasing predefined region. Can't hide from me, you inanimate object. Wow, I wonder what these machines are building. Huh, they're building. 
like a desk. Out of students? Whatever's going on here looks really nefarious, but practical. They just keep coming. Oh my god. They're planning on renting the interns out. As cubicles. I can't just stand by and watch them turn all these students into cubicles. We've got to do something. Hey! Let us out of here! It's no use. No one can hear you all the way down here. Hey, there's the intern. Intern! Get your ass over here! Man, be nice. Hey, intern. We need your help. We need you to get the keys. Steam keys? Not steam keys, you dolt. The keys to the door. We need you to go over and get the keys and bring them back to us. I'm not sure I know where the keys are. They're right there, hanging from that hook. You can see them from here. That's so far away. Is there a video tutorial about this somewhere? Just reach out and grab them. With a shovel? What the f- With your hands! Do you even see a shovel? Are we networking right now? Just get the damn keys already. Okay, I can do this. I got the keys! 
Maybe they'd be better off not being game developers, Midge. Did you think of that? Hey, help me find a way to shut this down. Cubicle walls don't have to deal with crunch or internet hate or agile development. And they have way more job security. Walls are very stable. They had to know they couldn't actually employ them all. The industry would be drowning in interns. Don't be ridiculous. You'd suffocate, not drown. They're totally misrepresenting their career placement stats. That's a secret you will never live to tell. You again. We know all about your scam of a school. I know. I've been standing here for ten minutes. You've seen too much. We can't let you get away with this. We're going to stop you. We are? And I'm going to stop you from stopping me. Yeah, and, and we're going to stop you from stopping them from stopping you. Yeah. You think you can thwart me? Well, I looked up your little company. Your boss was one of the first to sign up. What? No way. Ha! <laughs> Jeb would never sign that. Sign to the left, sign it to the right. He's gonna sign this shit. Okay, maybe he would sign that. But that doesn't change anything. Yeah, signature or not, we can't let you get away with this. Recruitus Maximus, set your missiles to kill. Viper, quick, how do you stop a half-ton ex-military-grade robot? He's not ex-military. I don't know, make the intern do it? Don't even joke about that. <sighs> Hold it, everyone stop. Violence won't solve anything. Hey, you can't snot kick a robot. <laughs> oh, you think you're so tough because you took out my definitely not ex-military robot? Well, let's see how you do against all of my definitely not ex-military robots. Recruiters, attack! Prepare to meet your doom! Army. 
Without them, I won't be able to convince young and impressionable kids to sign up for our accelerated development program. Yeah, it was nothing, okay? Face it, you slimy administrator. This program is done. You can't stop me. My teacher-to-student ratio is superb. All my professors have terminal degrees in their fields of study. The number of times I've had sex with graduates is within acceptable limits. You can do nothing! Not if we have anything to say about it, Provost. Hey, Frank! You had a change of heart. Who let you out? Exercise hour is not until 3 p.m. Yeah, about that. We need to talk. Now is not the time for employment negotiations. Oh, but it is. Without us, that accreditation rating you're so proud of, that's toast. Two exercise hours. And snack time. And more, Provost. Things... Things are gonna change around here. Thanks for helping us offload all these interns. It's a relief to know they're in good hands. You sure you don't want to just take some back? Interns are good to have around the office. I'll take some, sure. What? Really, Viper? You hate interns. I don't know. I could make a desk out of them or something. Oh, we're not making desks out of them. Just one, then. A lot of snot kicking happened here today, okay? I need a memento. Oh, thanks. You won't regret it. Man, thanks for diffusing things, Frank. Not sure how we were gonna get out of there. It's always good to help an old friend, Ben. Don't be a stranger. Welcome back, intern. Looks like you're here for good this time. Are you sure you're okay in that crate? Yeah, I feel safe here. Well, all right. Just bounce around or something if you need anything, I guess. Hey, Charm Lady Francine! Yes? Are we networking? Nope. Will I be able to work on the game now? Nope.